Well, let's talk about the local community first. So we actually have had a standard for many years. We give back 3% of our gross income to the community. And we don't know if that standard exists anywhere else. So 3%, so the more we make, the more we give. So that's kind of encourages the community to like all in. We've been doing that for a lot of years. Some years we've given a little bit more, but that's pretty much our standard. And we give to just about every nonprofit. There's about 900 nonprofits in Albemarle uh, County, the county that we sit in in Charlottesville. Uh, so we take requests from about 200 of them, and then we give out those money. We dole it out literally throughout the following year. So a lot of the nonprofits from Boys and Girls Clubs to Ready Kids to uh, you know our senior center in town receive our large recipients of these funds. And it intertwines to all aspects of age and gender in our community. So, you know, how does a small community bank play up in the financial aspect? So we've concentrated on our ROAA number, our ROAE number, and our earnings. To do that, you have to be really, really tight with your expenses. You have to be out there trying to grow your loans. It's pretty simple what you have to do. So if you're out there in the community and you are, you've hired the right people, you'll be known throughout the community. You get your deposits, keep your funds fairly low, lend out the money, and then watch your bottom line very, very tight. We were fortunate. Uh, we've always said don't worry about the stock price, worry about those fundamentals and the stock price, you'll be rewarded by it. And that's what's happened for us in 2017 and 18. I think everybody knows about OTCQX now. Uh, several years ago that probably wasn't the case and so now it's kind of an accepted uh, a trading platform. A lot of folks I just say will go out to OTCQX and they get it and so it's played a big role in having our stock available to a lot of folks that want to come and invest. We've seen some of our investors change so originally when we first started we were just strictly local shareholders and through OTCQX, especially the last three years, uh, we've seen some other investors, what I would call professional type investors in the community bank world come into and purchase our stock, which has helped our price.